it's another instalment of our Veganuary journey. Yes, good word. This time we are sampling foods from Gosh. Good Lord. I know, that was very good. <laughs> it's almost a dad joke. Golly. Um, so, um, yeah, I'm, I mean, I don't really know what these vegan and vegetarian people can have at buffets. I mean... These are very much um, buffet food, aren't yes. they? Yes. Are they like, they're like, not coftas, are they like falafels? I, do I, ima I imagine there would be like onion bhajis if yeah. they weren't vegan. Because I know like, mostly for us, if you, they, you know, sorry about that, but you know. When the dog's got a poo, a dog's got a poo. So, um, yeah, she rings the bell to go out. And uh, once she's been, you'll hear the bell ring again. So I'm just going to carry on talking. So, yeah, I mean, as a meat eater, at a buffet, it's normally little mini sausage rolls, cocktail sausages, um, little mini scotch eggs. So, you know, all of that's got animal product in. Yeah. So I think they are a little... So, Limited. Yeah. So, so what have we got? Go Gosh have got little little bite-sized ball things. Like little falafel balls. Um, they've got two flavours that you know were previously available. We've got the sweet pumpkin and chilli bites. And then you've also got the spinach and pine nuts. But they've also got two new flavours for this year. Ooh. The Peri Peri style chicken bites. And the one that I can't read because it's in your hand. Tuscan style bites. So, I have noticed that the colour of the packaging almost... Mimics. Yep. The colour of the little ball. Yes. So, where would you like to go for first? Should we go sweet pumpkin and chilli? Sweet pum pumpkin and chilli. So mildly spicy, it's like mildly spiced. Uh, so for four bites, it's 182 calories with 9.3 grams of fat. Okay, okay. Yeah, just smell. It smells like an onion barge. Fill a wrap with sweet chili, hummus, avocado, salad leaves, and our bites for easy but delicious meal on the go. I'm not going to lie. This is a little bland. Hmm. There's not a lot of flavour to this, is there? It, no. Mildly spicy, mildly flavoured. Um, that might be why they tell you to put it in a wrap. And not have it as is. Yeah. Maybe. Oh dear. It bodes well for the rest, doesn't it? Okay. Um, it's their serving suggestion on the back there. Add to lots of things with flavour. Yes. So let's try the spinach and the pine nut ones because that's their other, <coughs> their other readily available flavour. Okay. I mean they are very green. Oh, that looks like a pine nutty one there. Looking for a classic family favourite? Try adding our bites to creamy carbonara with mushrooms and basil. Okay. They don't look as big as the others. So. For four bites, you've got 185 calories with 9.9 .9 grams of fat. So these are a little bit heavier on calories. Oh, okay. So does that mean heavier on calories, heavier on flavour? <laughs> Possibly, but it's only three calories in it, so don't get excited. Right, okay. Well, quite good. Yeah, really don't get excited. Oh, my. They're very green, though. I mean, this is what we've got on the inside. And they've held the heat well. They've been out of the oven for a little while. Ten minutes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're all right. There's a bit. I'm getting more spice in that one than we did in the previous one. There's a little. There's a little bit of warmth. Not. It's not offensive. Well, I'm getting pine nut. That has given it a bit of bite. It gives it texture. I think we should go for the Tuscan ones next. Okay. Now, I've got good hopes for these because it says with rosemary and garlic. Okay. 
And apparently we're going to add this to a carbonara the same as the pine nut ones. Oh, are we? Apparently. Oh. Okay. That is by far the best so far, but I think we've eaten it. We're currently yeah. eating it. Currently eating it in order of blandest to best so far. Mm. Quite tomatoey. Tomato and rosemary. Mm. Mm. Although I'm not sure whether I prefer the, <coughs> the pine nut one. You'll be pleased to know that these are the best diet friendly ones so far. Oh. Pur pur proportion, which is four bites, 153 calories. Okay. With only 7.1 grams of fat. There's something a bit acidic in that, a bit sour. I think that might be the tomato. What do you think? Mm, possibly. And then that leaves us with the peri peri ones with paprika and garlic. Okay. Now, these are the lowest calorie. Wow. 135 calories for four bites. 4.3 grams of fat. It's smelling Moroccan. Uh, for a twist on a family favourite, try our bites in tacos with fresh tomatoes, lettuce and avocado. Now, I didn't think avocados were vegan. Almonds and avocados, uh, all of them, in fact, it's the same reason as honey. Oh, they can't exist without bees, and the bees are used in, well, let's call it an unnatural way, because they're so difficult to cultivate naturally. All of these crops rely on bees, which are placed on the back of trucks and taken very long distances across the country. Mm. Isn't that a, a bit, then again, are they actually... Isn't that to do with... Bees and the way it's pollinated. Have we just misunderstood what this is? And they, these aren't actually bees. Oh, the, the, oh it's yeah, got the vegan. vegan. It's got the yeah. vegan stamp on the back. I thought something to do with the way they were pollinated. That's honey. Is oh yeah, because isn't it so many bees? Same, same idea. Same idea. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm not a fan. Mm. Almost a bit squishy on the inside. Yeah. Oh, that one looks like it's got a little love heart on it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I see it now. Let's see if you can see the love heart. Bip, bip. Good girl. Oh, I can see it on the screen. If you can see the love heart. I'll put a circle around it. Okay. It's certainly the one that's got the most heat bite in it. <clears throat> but yeah. to be fair, it's peri-peri style, so I would... Im I'd be disappointed if it didn't. So. I think the, the two new flavours, the Tuscan style and the Peri Peri ones, are definitely the better ones. They, they've, they've worked on it, haven't they? I think yeah. I like the Tuscan style better than the Peri Peri. Yeah, I'd say so. I like the spinach better than the sweet pumpkin. I would potentially go Tuscan, spinach, Peri Peri pumpkin. Yeah, I'd be happy with that. That almost sounds like um, the, the, the little song that um, Harry Styles fans um, mixed out um, on TikTok. Um, yeah, people were starting to go to his, um, his concert dressed as fruit. Okay. It's watermelon pears, there's peas and bananas. No? Is this from TikTok? Yeah. But it, it, he actually sang this. Has anyone got an aubergine? No aubergine, no aubergine. No? Okay. Nope. Yeah. Hi, Harry, if you're watching. I love you. He's not watching, is he? <laughs> Put my fingers crossed for you. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, yeah, so they're quite filling. Could you sum this up in one word? Gosh. That's cheating. No, the filling. I think I think you couldn't you couldn't ram as many as you could in. Challenge accepted. Off you go. Start the club. I was going to say how many we got. Six. Uh, Did we get the same 12, amount? 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 20. Can I, can I just... 27. Can I, if you can hear something, can I just angle down there a minute? This, that's, that's... That's that's what you're dealing with currently. She's playing with her cocoa pops. 
So um, yeah, I've I've ruined the angle of the uh, the tripod now, but yeah. we'll work on that later. So um, <laughs> that's that really. Um, they, they just, <clears throat> on the traffic lights, there's no there's no red, so that to me sounds healthy. No. But there's a lot of amber. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of salt. But I think yeah. that might be to do with what they are rather than the fact that they're vegan. What, that there's no flavour, so they've had mm. to over salt. But yeah, I think um, I think that's pretty much going to round this up. Have you yeah. have you got a word to sum it up with? I don't think you can use just one word really. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite the flavour sensation. It it is a taste sensation. So yeah, well, um, join us next week for what will be our final instalment. Yes. In in Veganuary, and then we'll go back to probably lots of random and goodness knows what disgusting food. So, um, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Can you say goodbye?